You've told me more than once to show you my intention. Hi, and thanks for joining me for our careers learning videos. This video is about your post 16 options. So the options that are available to you after you've finished your GCSE. It can be quite daunting to make this decision. Some people just fall into it and make it quite easily. But don't panic if that's not working for you. Some people do take just more time to think through those options before they make a final decision. Whatever you decide, don't forget to explore all of your options. Sometimes the option that you think of the least is sometimes the best one. Information is going to help you make an informed realistic decision. Rather than just going with um, what you're initially presented with, sometimes there's hidden information or things you don't first realise. So try and gather as much as you possibly can. So a general overview of all your options. So the options are staying on in your current academy. So that can involve a range of options, obviously depending on, on what academy you're currently in and what's on offer. So again, find out the full range of subjects that are there um, available to you. You could attend another sixth form that might include grammar schools, other forms of academies. You might want to go to a college depending on where you live and how far out you're willing to travel. Apprenticeships for some may be an option. Some people prefer apprenticeships because they're earning a wage and they're getting work experience whilst they're learning and getting the qualification out of it. But think this through because it's not always the best option for everybody. A lot of people want to go straight into work and they really don't want to be in the formal work, um, formal learning environment. Just make sure you are doing some sort of part-time learning alongside that work option. That could be part-time learning. It doesn't have to be related to the job that you're in. And the learning that you're doing needs to lead to a, um, a nationally recognised qualification. There are other options as well for those of you who don't fit in the, to the first five categories. Um, other training might involve a football scholarship for those of you who are involved with that and may be offered that. Um, some of you may want to go into the, um, the British um, Armed Forces. How to decide. There are various things you can do if you're struggling to decide. You can talk to other people. You can learn about different job industries and the different job roles within them. Research those options, really think about them, really what's involved, looking at the whole picture. Think about what a bad day might look like as well as what a good day might look like in that job because you get in a whole picture by doing that. Exploring the different pathways. So there, for many careers, there's more than just one way into that job. For example, you might need A-levels for some jobs, for, but for other jobs you may not. Find out the different pathways available to you for that particular career. Think about your preferred learning style. Everybody learns differently. Some people learn in a less formal environment, like hands-on training, um, and are more practical, and others um, like the formal learning environment. It's just different for everybody. So find out, think about who you are as a person and what's going to work for you. And don't forget to see a careers advisor, that's what we're here for. We're here to help and we're here to guide you through this process. We can't make that decision for you, obviously. Um, that's for you to decide, but we can give you some really good information and help you along your way into making that final decision. Um, contact your own schools and academies to speak to relevant staff to be able to contact us this way. Thanks for listening, take care and goodbye.